sink with dirty dishes. Check. Seam stealing houseplant. Check. Kitty drawings. Check. Why, it must be a new episode of Gwen Shenanigans. <laughs> So I have become a bit obsessed with gunny sack dresses. It's sort of like when the cork's out of the bottle, it just keeps going. Because I wanted to recreate one for literally years, never got round to it. So I imposed a deadline upon myself and the result, as you might know, is uh, the gunny sack Halloween collaboration where everybody made a gunny sacks like dress but with Halloweeny or spooky fabrics. And I love that dress, I wear it. Well, I wore it all the time around the Halloween season, but since the Halloween season has now passed, I'm just not really feeling it anymore. I know some people would say like, oh, tish tosh, tis Halloween all year round if you wanted to. But I'm not one of those people. I like my clothes to correspond with the seasons, the holidays, whatever. So to abridge the period between Halloween and Yule Christmas, I decided I'm gonna make another one, just a quick little one, so I have something else to wear beside my gunny saxoine dress that I don't feel like wearing anymore until October next year. I went stash diving and I got not only this, but this and this. Now, unfortunately, I have screwed up this one a little bit because I left it in the dryer for too long and now there is creases in it that have bleached a little bit. So, don't be like me, take stuff out of the dryer immediately. But what I want to do is try and recreate this gunny sacks gown with it, and then I will hopefully have a dress to wear until it is time to wear the winter holiday themed one that I also plan on making. A word on that, gunny saxoween has transformed into gunny saxmas. This is not to say that you can join in if you don't celebrate Christmas. I mean, I'm making a Yule dress. You can make a Hanukkah dress if you want to, or whatever winter holiday it is you celebrate. It's just that one central hashtag does make it easier for people to find your stuff, so feel free to use it alongside hashtags of your own. And if you post it anywhere, feel free to tag me because I love seeing all the gunny saxes that you folks make. So tag away, my friends. Tag away. And happy sewing. Let's get to work. Sorry for the horrible lighting, but uh, this is where I am so far. Laid out all the pockets, stash buster project, but I went ahead and got quilting fabric for the pockets because I wasn't sure that I had enough. I, oh dear. I turned off the sound of the television just so I could shoot this tiny little snippet and I have hurt my daughter's feelings tremendously. Yeah, okay. I shall go and turn on the television now. It's a circle skirt, so it needs to hang for about a day, so if there's any warping, you can correct that before you start hemming. I also had some fun with the decorative stitching options on my sewing machine. Sleeve is time I have used this pattern for sleeves. As you can see, it's a vintage pattern and it has the perfect sleeves for a gunny sack dress. I just always forget which side is front. Will you focus? Focus for Pete's sake. Focus. Focus. <laughs> I always forget which side is front and which is back. I have already used these once. I just don't remember. I'm just gonna have to figure it out all over again. Thank you, bad memory. Mom brain strikes again. I had decided this here thing was too wide and it was causing me trouble with uh, fitting. Fitting it to the skirt portion, I must say. Why will you not focus? 
There. It's not that hard. Yes. And I had therefore trimmed down like two centimeters off of this piece. And then proceed to sew the piping onto the untrimmed piece. <sighs> Where's that seam ripper? The upper edge of this piece of trim kept curling under the machine foot until I remembered that you can actually move the needle of my machine. I moved it a bit to the left so that the foot was now in a better position to keep the trim down and I had no more trouble with the trim after that. Yay! Although in hindsight, I do wish I had sewn down the bottom of the trim too. Stay tuned till the end of the video to see why. Well, if it isn't one of my biggest pet peeves when sewing, you sew all the whatever, you turn it over, and then there is this. And hold it at the top. Ain't that the truth? I hate it so much when this happens. Why? I understand that this happened before I had a sewing machine who tells me exactly at what tension to put everything. Damn. Just shot the reveal, figured I would shoot the outro, wrap up, whatever you want to call it, right on the end of that, whilst I'm waiting for my kids to get bored from playing here. There he goes. That, oh, oh, careful, careful there. He's disappeared behind my head. He's gonna come out the other way. Oh, there comes the other way. Oh, hang on. <laughs> here they go again. Anywho. I have mixed feelings about this dress, the mostly positive, the fit, not too crazy about the fit, it fits okay, but just barely. So I'm thinking for my next project, the Yule Sacks Gunny Saxmas dress, I'm gonna try and drape it so that it is my exact measurements, because I am kind of disenchanted with the way the, the bodice fits, or well, just barely fits. Other than that, as far as a stash buster project goes, if you don't count the me buying quilt fabric to line the pockets with, I had this fabric lying around for ages. Oh, there's people having lots of fun there. <laughs> just, I'm looking at a bunch of kids literally frolicking. Look, there they go. Can you see them? Uh, looks like they've stopped, but I swear they were they were frolicking and 
hopping around like little deer. It was cute. But yeah, I'm pretty happy I finally got to use the pretty fancy swirly velvet fabric and I'm happy with the result. It's not a very warm dress so I don't know for how long I'm actually gonna be wearing it but yeah it's nice nice fall fall spring dress I'm pretty pleased with it <laughs> next up Gunny Saxmas as always thank you for watching if you like the video feel free to like comment subscribe to my channel push that notification icon so you will be notified every time I release a new one <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to support me some more, feel free to come over to oh, my I'm gonna shot, I'm gonna kill ya! Kofi account. Why? Buy me a coffee. Why are you so adding so stupid? Well, there you have it. If you'd like to support stupid things, <laughs> support me. Stupid things! Diving! <laughs> Diving! What even is that? <laughs>